Well, in South Africa, what we really need is policy innovation. The SEZs could be seen as platforms for policy experimentation, which is a totally different concept from what we currently do, which are essentially public financed, loss-making industrial parks. South Africa needs a vehicle for overcoming political constraints on economic reform. And we need a way to test whether these reforms would actually have an impact on employment, because they're never really guaranteed. We think this is what Deng Xiaoping meant when he talked in China about if you're going to cross a river, you need to feel for the stones. And because the reform we're proposing would only apply in the special economic zone, you can overcome some of the resistance that would be felt if you went for a big bang of changes across the whole country. So what is our proposal? We are arguing today, calling today for a new SEZ to test what would happen in a modified labor market regime. A different kind of zone with labor market rules designed for low skill production for export. This would be an experiment to see what would work in South Africa. What are the specifics? Here are some of them. We would want exemption from bargaining council agreements, wages and working conditions to be negotiated at factory level, but the national minimum wage and the expanded tax incentive would apply to all workers. Basic health and safety regulations would apply. Goods made in the zone would only be for export and there would be duty-free imports into the zone. Firms locating in the zone need to engage in new activities and we need to allow foreign skilled managers into the country, into the zone, because they would have expertise South Africa has little of, how to produce at very, very low, low cost for very um, sort of low price products and how to access global value chains for those particular products. We're suggesting that this should be at Koha, which is already a zone. Lots of your money has been spent establishing the Koha zone already, so there's sunk costs, and it's in the Nelson Mandela Bay metropolitan area. The country's debate about special economic zones has changed in the last few years. COVID-19 has been catastrophic for South Africa. We have a worsening growth situation and our unemployment crisis is even worse than it was before COVID. We have proclaimed 11 special economic zones, but none really address the binding constraints in this economy. And they won't produce low skilled jobs in export oriented activities. They're not geared to do that. In fact, at the moment, they're producing very few jobs at all. The proposal we're putting forward today and calling for today builds on the world's most common route to industrialization and inclusion of the poor. And this is in fact the only way to do what the ANC says it wants, to identify opportunities in low-end manufacturing that we can exploit to the full. So we're saying Let's develop a special economic zone that is truly special and let's do it quickly. <laughs>